Hello everyone, Logan Kurtz with McCarthy here, and welcome back to another Plaza Entry Update video. Today is April 18th, 2024. It's been a great week here on site. I've got some awesome updates coming up in the video, so make sure you stick around to the end. All right, so as always, we're gonna start off in front of the West Pavilion Canopy. Curtain Wall is a new activity we started in this area this week. MEP Ruffin is ongoing over here and will be for the next several weeks as we get these systems uh, installed and then tied in. Shaft walls are continuing over here. We were able to top out some of those and we are continuing our work uh, as we move down the canopy face. And then brine tank work is continuing. All right, so this photo here is of the West Pavilion Canopy. So as you can see, we did make some great progress this week on the ladders for the curtain wall system. Uh, once we get these wrapped up, we will be able to come back through with some back pants and then the glass behind that. So as I mentioned earlier, we are also working on some shaft walls and some MEP work over here at West Pavilion. So in this photo here, you'll see the duct work and roof drains that we've got going in, as well as some hydronic lines. And then if you look, you'll also see some shaft walls that we've got going up and some headers that will support the future donor glass element here at West Pavilion. Moving over to the Plaza Garage and the bridge, MEP Ruffin and elevator work is continuing on all levels of the garage as well as up on the bridge, making some great headway there. Garage stairs are completely poured. Uh, we're working on getting the last few welds done and then we'll be able to start prepping these for paint. Soffit and fur out wall framing is continuing on all levels of the garage as well as up on the bridge. And then the curtain wall on the jewel box, we're setting our last few glass panels and then we were completely done with this activity uh, and getting really close to being able to get this space dried in. All right, so as I mentioned on the jewel box, we are just about wrapped up with the glass. As you can see in this photo here, we've got a couple panels left to set and then we're done with this. Uh, and then we'll come back through, get our last soffit put in and our expansion joints and we'll be completely dried in. All right, so these couple of photos here show some of that work I was talking about inside the garage and then up on the bridge as well. So if you look to the left, that's gonna be our elevator shaft walls. We were able to top those out this week. So now we just gotta get them inspected and we'll be able to come back through and close those up. If you look to the right, that's a photo from up on the bridge. And I just wanna show uh, all of the MEP coordination that we've got going on up here. So all of our MEP FP trade partners are up here getting their systems installed and tested out uh, so that we can turn this area over here next summer. Super exciting to see all this coordination going on and we're super happy uh, with the effort our trade partners are putting in here. All right, so inside the hospital, we were able to get all of the casework installed in the coffee shop as well as the coffee shop seating area, ready for the stone guys to come out now and get those field measured to get some quartz and solid surface on the way. And then we are continuing our work on the soffits over here as well as the fire doors. All right, so these few photos here just show the coffee shop and coffee shop seating area casework that we were able to get installed this week. Came out super well, super happy with it. Uh, and as I mentioned, we just got to get the stone guys out to get these measured and get some solid surface and quartz put on them. All right, and then over in Hudlin Park to wrap up this video, we're continuing our work in the northeast corner. And then we were also able to jump over to the tennis courts this week and get those top coats applied. So if you look to the left, you'll see the tennis court. Uh, we're working on getting those striped out now and hopefully we'll be able to get these opened up to the public here in the next few days. Uh, and then in the bottom right, you'll see those serpentine walls we got poured over in Hudlin Park. Uh, and now we just have to get the sandblaster out here to get the smooth finish that is desired. All right, that's all I've got for you this week. As always, I want to thank you for your patience and cooperation as we go through this process together. And I'll see you in the next one.